Good morning, good evening and good afternoon YouTube and welcome back. And we are back in Ireland. We're gonna talk about traveling today because my god we had a shit show on our hands. Why the video is called Irish Night from Travel? Well because most of the companies we used were Irish. When we were leaving to Croatia we were of course using, fl using flying with uh, Ryanair. The problem this time was actually Dublin airport. Unfortunately, after we boarded the plane, one of the Ryanair worker, workers fell down the, you know, the steps that we used to get on the plane. Hope he's all right. But the reaction of the services there was ridiculous at, at best. The guy spent over an hour laying on the concrete under, the, literally under our plane, because apparently Dublin airport only has one ambulance and that one was in Dublin. So we had to wait for an ambulance for over an hour to come and help a man who, who fell from, I don't know, three meters high steps. Now, I don't know what would happen if they had some, some more serious emergency there, but this was not good. We ended up in Croatia at 3 a.m. something like that over three hours late anyways but yeah if you still didn't watch the video from Croatia I'll link it somewhere it was a I think it's a pretty nice video so go and watch it. After a few days in Croatia barbecuing with friends and stuff like that we decided to go to the capital Zagreb and we decided to use the train which yeah, yeah it wasn't the best decision because trains and the railroads in Croatia are stuck in uh, let's let's be optimistic and call it the 90s. I'll let the ginger lady explain. I actually have footage from there, so she will tell you what happened. We arrived here, guys, to get our, actually we arrived a good 30 minutes early so that we could get the 11 o'clock train, which would typically take about 40 minutes in a car. So we said we'll make the journey exciting and we'll take the train that Jakob used to take when he was younger. But uh, the train turns out to be uh, maybe an hour or so late. And just to add a little bit of spice to that journey, uh, they're working on the trail, so <laughs> halfway there we have to get off the train to get on a bus, but we have to wait for a bus to take us on the rest of our journey. So we could be there, God knows, probably sometime next week. Oh, let's just sit in the train. It's okay, this is preparing me for India. <laughs> SOS. <laughs> Call Irish Railway. <laughs> two buses. I'm as white as a ghost after that trip. That was something very special and unique to Croatia. So you all know my opinion on the train that we initially got on which was quite pleasant compared to the second form of transport which was the lovely Croatian bus. That bus could seat 50 people I'd say safely but there was at least 80 maybe more all shoved onto it. So there was 50 seated and there was 40 all standing up, all holding kind of like a little bar and there's no seatbelts and you're literally driving on a main road. I genuinely thought we were all going to die inside the bus. We were going over like tracks from a train. I thought we were going through safari and every time it stopped, they were letting more people on, which was mind blowing to me because at home that would never happen. I don't think I'd ever do that again. I'm, I feel like I need to sit down and have a tea. <laughs> I think all the blood circulation from my fingers is gone from complete fear of grabbing onto the wall. I was grabbing onto the pole. I think I grabbed a poor girl's hair at one point because <laughs> I was so afraid I was going to get killed. So it was a train, a bus, a train, and now we're going on a tram. Again, just for a 40 minute spin from Kutina to Zagreb. Well, it was three hours. Has it been three hours? It's two now. This has been an adventure and we did meet a lovely boy on the bus. He was our train. He was very nice and I enjoyed the actual scenery part. Okay, gotta go guys. Ridiculous, right? <laughs> After the first part of the journey with the train, they stuck us, kicked us out of the train and told us we need to get the bus now because they were doing some works on the railroads which turned out to be because someone stole some of the electrical wires the night before. Well, I don't know, apparently that's a thing now. If you like this video, you might like other videos we make. We make one to two per week, depending on how much time we have. So please consider clicking that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to us. There's over two and a half thousand of you now. And if you really, really like it, there is a link under to our Patreon page where we post additional content, short video clips, previews, 
videos go live there before they go on YouTube. Plus, we have monthly lives with our Patreons where you can speak directly to us. Back to the video now. After our day in Zagreb, it was time to fly back to, to Ireland. <laughs> so, yet another Ryanair flight. Let me tell you about this one. So, we got onto the plane again, same as when we were going here. But then the captain, is that how you call the pilot? Cap yeah, captain. I guess he's a captain. Declared that the radio in uh, in a plane is not working, and I don't mean the FM radio for listening music. So yeah, I agree. Shouldn't be pro probably shouldn't be too safe to fly without that. So we ended up sitting in a plane on a runway in Zagreb for guess how much, how long? Again, three hours. <laughs> After arriving to Dublin, guess what? They didn't lose our uh, baggage. They lost a baggage from the whole flight. That's right. That is a thing also now, apparently, and it's possible. So we ended up waiting an hour, hour and a half without anyone telling us anything. And you would think that would be the last travel story I have to tell you, but no, no. Let me tell you about the bus errand drivers in, in, in Galway. Well, driver, let's just stick to, to one because I believe that he is an exception. That <laughs> shit was so rude, it was um, unbelievable what, what he did and how he acted and how he talked to not just me to ginger lady and to my friend from Croatia just because it was his last ride and he he I guess was going home after that and was in a hurry I'll put a, a little clip of that bus that line and that driver just so because why not people uh, like that needs to be called out called out and just to be clear I don't think all bus even drivers are like that my housemate is a bus driver and he's a very nice person but yeah, this guy is, is should not be doing that job. That's me, and that's where I'll end uh, the story about that. <clears throat> not the end of the video, though. Not every travel is a nightmare, of course. Most of them are not, in my opinion. I love traveling, and that is why we will be going to India and Vietnam this summer. So please stick to that. Stick with us by then, because I, I can't wait to film that. Traveling is great, especially when you're traveling to see your family, friends, or when you're traveling with your friends, which bring me to Ines. Ines the, is, hmm, I don't know how to say this. She is the oldest friend I have on this planet. She calculated that we know each other for 23 years now. And it's 23 years of, see, I don't know what to, what to say. I don't know what to say. But yeah, thank you Ines for coming here, for visiting me. I was really, really looking forward to that. And it was really great. Hope you come soon again. That's all I'll say, yeah, because I don't know how to do this. All of you out there, if you have a chance, go and travel, spend time with your friends, tell your friends you love them, do hug them, I don't know, make barbecues, get drunk. But yeah, yeah you know what I mean. If you like this video, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike one. If you loved it, press the subscribe button. And I'll see you next week. Wait, hold on. Be together, take me back where I belong. It's all gone.